these brackets here crack up, make sure it's good and tight, and you secure the streamer. You know, it's gonna stay in. You know, I do the run. Security not hanging. Here we go. Check, checking all the panel screws down or what? Cooling water, man, for the food equipment base. Keeps uh, all the avionics and shit cool. All right, check that. So it don't burn up anything. It's got a percentage of hydraulic fluid that should have in, in the air, and it needs air, so we're gonna air it up. Okay, and we got speed big line tape, and you have your auxiliary pen for your gear right here. Make sure that's installed, stream secured, and stole that. Didn't you? Nope, I ain't bullshit. It's an asshole. Thanks, John. This is going to my mother. Oh, ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm kidding. Sorry, Mom. I don't know when you talk about that, so I'm going to run sure. yeah. I influence you a lot, don't I? Thanks. On his head. It's built in, man. <laughs> Ten years. Yeah. Wishes for the end. Yeah. Shut down everything. Telephones. I heard three of these can knock out the whole entire East Coast. Yeah. Telephones, television, radio, anything that works on them. Frequency, man, to be eliminated. Visible cracks or anything like that. Your system spot will a few times. The burner. Yeah. You know, I'm going to hit the way you man. Oh, okay. Dump, what's that do? Oh, that's just dump. Yeah, it's a dump fuel, man. Uh, dumps it quick, don't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It goes up 500 gallons a minute. Yeah. 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 yeah, don't fly so good without any flight controls, does it? Well, you don't want to share anything and then have to call sheet mail out. Right. John, John and his Marshall. Rock and roll maintenance, ain't that what it's all about? I'm about to become one with this airplane. Maintenance troops, whiskey and rock and roll. Hey. And it's a Saturday, by the way. And it yeah, did it call is a Saturday. Me it woke yeah. me up. John, you are indispensable, and we need you today. Mm. You stud? You know how it goes, man. Sticking in one of these dudes. <laughs> Take the zero. Ooh. Forget all your religion. You know what these are, man? Well, those are those. Yeah, what about it? Uh, just, yeah, you should know that because you. So yeah, yeah, I, I'm signed off on inlets and exhaust, checking all that stuff. I do the same thing, man, before engine runs. Check all those veins. Yeah. I mean, you can't really see that deep into it, you know. So no, I just make this, sure the front set looks good. This, this cherry ribbon stock that it never hurts to check, believe it or not. A lot of people don't know they're there. This whole thing used to travel. It used to be a translating cow, and they, they, they modified it, but now it's just open and closed for pressure. Oh, okay. Good idea, actually. Cockpit. John Burroughs, a man barely alive. I'm the stuff, man. I'm the bottom line. I'm here because I'm the best. The bottom line. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm getting ready to put about 37,000 pounds of thrust out my backside. And how how much are we dealing with, John? Dollar figure. Give me around. Dollar there. figure. Well, the aircraft is. Uh, I tell you what, we're going to burn out probably about twelve thousand dollars with the fuel. Okay. All right. What's the aircraft worth? Thirty million dollars. Okay. That's with or without engines. That's plus VAT. Okay. 
The yeah. engines, the engines ground up are like, like, what, 3.2 million. We're gonna run both those. Um, we're gonna run it with the avionics, without the avionics. What we have here, reason why I'm running this engine, is because we had smoke in the cockpit and flight, and they've already duped it once, duplicated it once. So we've had some uh, air conditioning people and a bunch of people out, and they've changed about six components. And I'm gonna do the ops check, and I've already been told by uh, the people who've done the work that I will probably get smoke again in the cockpit. So, well, it sounds we'll exciting. Uh, yeah, it's we're going good. to crank both engines, and we're going zone five, which is max afterburner. Afterburner, that's right. Okay. Back in my lingo now. Well, I don't figure the folks at home might not. Uh, know that's that okay, man. Take them through it. Uh, okay. Take them through it. All right, what I did is I just set up the cockpit, made everything safe for a run. Um, I just did a walk around. I contacted uh, the the control tower and I've contacted maintenance operations to let them know what I'm doing and uh, right now we're just waiting for this guy from another section to sign some stuff off because I have to clear out all my red X's and I have to have the forms up here. L let, me keep, let me keep the public up to date. We are sitting in an F-111. Oh, by the way, this is Saturday too and, and didn't I just get a phone call about it two hours ago said, hey, come on in, man, join Roger the party. That. Yeah, so Roger. that's what I'm doing here right now. Okay, well, Calm the currents. Calm the currents. That's because I'm so... Uh, Multifaceted. I guess that's, I guess that's the best way I can put it, isn't it? Multifaceted. John, you get me excited. It happens. Don't Here, worry. let me say hi to mom and dad. Okay. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Hey, peoples. I am sitting in an F-111 with my close friend, Staff Sergeant John Burroughs. I got 19 days left here on base, and this is my first opportunity I ever had to sit in the cockpit. We are going to crank this engine up because we got some problems with it. Both engines. Yeah, both engines. We're going to go zone 5 afterburner, which is something I'm not familiar with sitting in the cockpit, but I am familiar with running ground for test cell. Well, you're familiar with like ground emergencies, like when we have to run really fast? Yeah. Okay, uh, you'll do fine. Yeah, man. Sometimes, man, I, I just don't even tell them what I'm running. I just disconnect automatic. Just <laughs> out of there. All right, hang on a second, man. I'm going to I'm gonna contact the dude on the ground and see if we're ready to crank power. All right? Roger. I'll take the camera again. I went to his truck to call me in for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, man, he better be checking the stuff out he's signing off. Okay, that's cool then. I might add, I'm sitting in the whistle seat. Yeah. You're in effect sitting this, in the pilot seat. This pilot seat, right here. We call some, we'll light it up here pretty soon. This this uh, troubleshoots about 160 systems, and any fail he has, he'll have a light and a big light here. And tell him what system is failing, and he has a checklist that he goes through to do whatever he needs to do to, to stay okay. All right, primarily what we're going to be checking during the run are these gauges here. All right, this is percent of the engine, the RPM is running at. The left hand is for the left engine, the right hand is for All the right, right engine. That's okay. pretty, pretty explained to ourselves. This is TIT. This is, uh, we call it tent. turn yeah, inlet temperature. Turn inlet temperature, and we need to maintain under 720 degrees Celsius at idle unlimited through the run as, as far as above idle goes and stuff. Okay. If I see like really fast climbs, then more than likely I'm going to have the guy on the ground look and see if the, if the engine is actually burning. Roger. And we'll do whatever we need to do. This is fuel flow. Okay. This okay. Something That's pounds well. per hour times a thousand on this gauge and this is the actual. All right. At idle, we'll be, we'll be pumping about 1,100 pounds of fuel per hour at idle. That's minimal. Right. Um, that's maximal. That's max. Yeah. Okay, sorry to get to the gauges. We just found a little problem we had to take care of before we could crank. No problem. All right, well, I'll pretty much explain the gauges. That's what I watch when I run. All right, we're going to have a person on the ground that's going to be troubleshooting the system on the ground and telling me what to do in the cockpit. We're fixing to apply power and air. Okay, your ears are going to pop and stuff. All right, over here. All right, that's the sound I was talking about.
conversation. I drive engine oil, went from 19. Should get a master caution. Over the horn, over speed, we said master caution, went for a TIT bike, got a climb. I'll be in good climb, got good hydraulics, got good engine oil. Right to the radar. Statue stabilizing at 520, 510. That's a little high, but not too bad. On fuel flow. Okay, dude, quick check yourself out. You can smug. Shut it down and create the other one? Sounds like oil. Yeah, it feels like urban oil. Okay, I'm gonna run this up to 80% for 30 seconds and we'll shut it down, alright? Alright, go ahead. Alright, go ahead. I got number two run. Okay, so are we on? Yeah, you need to. Okay, if, if you got enough, you can see in the camera, we already have smoke in the cockpit. Alright, so instead of running the engine through, we're going to shut it down and start the other engine and see if we can get the same smoke out of the other engine as well. If we do, then it's not an engine problem. It's obviously going to have to be the AC problem. Uh, these guys have been scratching their head over this for about the last week. They've had a lot of problems with it. I got a guy in the wheel row right now checking something out. He's going to get clear. I'm going to run the engine up to cool it off, bring it down, and we're going to crank the other side. That's where we are right now. Alright, go up there to the That's on the AC belt, right? Battle oil, nozzle swing, went to 19. Slow climber. Let it go speed. At 19%, wait for the TIT light. Let the TIT climb. Good oil. Got you stabilizing. Pretty high. Pretty high. Then right six six. Actually, this is what really makes it worthwhile. 
you have a lot of stuff, man, but then you have a lot of fun like this. So you, you go through your power settings a lot quicker than we do. Well, see, we have to because the pilots do. Right. The pilot's not going to sit and pick out, okay, I want zone one, zone three, zone five, whatever. Right. He's going to move it, like I said, un unlimited, smooth, fast, rapid movement. So right. that's, that's the way we have to take it out here. Actually, it sounds crazy, but we're trying to, like, stall it. See, stall. When, we, when we dog our engines, that's what we do. But normal engine runs, we... Our, our advancements and decelerations are a little bit, smooth, a little bit slower. Still smooth like that, but a little yeah. bit slower. Huh? Real bad. I'm, di I'm dizzy from all the smoke. Are you dizzy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I, smell, I think I... Okay, what? The F-111 Wonderleven. I'd say it, John, but I'm glad I'm off the aircraft now. Hmm? I'm glad I'm off the aircraft. Oh, man, I like it. The aircraft's cool, the engine's not. Fine. So, after you guys see this, we have to kill you. Right. And what would you call that, John? That's, a, that's a, a quick avionics equipment bay. This is your, uh, AC circuit breaker panel. It breaks all the systems down, and they all go through here and do the ops checks. So you don't want something to work, so you don't hurt somebody. Then you just pull the circuit breaker. Right. All right. This is a R two hundred seven. Fine. This is a gyro up here. Flight gyro. This is going home to mom, so you know, don't be a potty mouth and stuff. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's it. This is really intelligent, isn't it? Geniuses, man. That's what we got working out here. I'm sure he's in a screw bag or something. That's I just did that engine running stuff, right? And we just like signed off. That's it, from head to toe. Some, some red X's. And this is, guys who got like IQs of 190 or plus were back here. This is support. And they're geniuses. So and I'm fine. turning all my stuff that I signed out for them. <laughs> I'm turning it in. They, they put chips on it to show accountability. That way you don't leave it on the airplane. That's what I'm doing now and stuff.